This Paris Nice puts French sprinters to the top. Winner of stage one, Arnaud Demar was forced to quit today, but Nasser Bouani avenged himself from the commentary stage disqualification when he was sanctioned at the benefit of Michael Matthews. Today, the Cofidis rider won his third Paris Nice stage, his second World Tour victory this season. Back on the road today for the Paris Nice competitors, there was a little lack of rigor this morning as some 30 riders forgot to sign the race documents. However, most did take the start. After a crash occurred a little before the real start, the peloton took some distance, but all went back to normal as the 195 km challenge to Romain was beginning. Four men broke from the pack after six kilometers. Fortunio's Florian Vachon, the best ranked of the group, Evaldas Siskevicius, who was already in the breakaway two days ago, Ireland's Matthew Bremeyer of Dimension Data, and Francis Thomas Vaucler of Direct Energy. The veteran won a Paris Nice stage in Belleville Beaujolais in 2011 and wished to renew the exploit. The breakaway riders never got more than a five minute advantage. In the Côte de saint uze ascent, 30 kilometers to the finish line, a Category 2 climb, Vaucler's intention became clear. Vaucler attacked and dropped his companions one by one. The last one to resist was Siske Vicious. The Lithuanian's reward after this stage four will be the polka dot jersey in Romain. In the plain, some echelons ended the pack's organization. Three riders counterattacked: Sylvain Chavanel, Seb Van Mark and Dario Fernandez. They led the bunch by 20 seconds, 5 kilometers from the finish line. The pack finally set up the chase with Katusha and Buani's Kofidis in the front. The effort paid off and the escapees were caught 500 meters to the finish. This time it was the right one for Nasser Buani, who had sprinted Edward Turns of Belgium and Andre Greipel of Germany. It was a difficult day, very hilly. The team did a great job. They carried me to the end. There were four guys ahead of me, 1.5 kilometers to the finish. Then, at the last chicane, I lost Laporte's wheel. I was then in third place. And 200 meters to the end, I started my effort. Nasser Buani was the fastest to the finish line ahead of big names such as Greipel, Christoph, Matthews and Swift. Kittel suffered in the last ascent of the day and his group finished a bit later. At the GC, Michael Matthews still leads Dumoulin by 14 seconds and three other rivals are at 19 seconds. Tomorrow, the main difficulty of the stage will be the famous Mont Ventoux and its 9.3% average slope over 10 kilometers. But with 120 kilometers from the summit to the finish, there shouldn't be big differences made. However, a few favorites may be dropped. From Saint Paul Trois Châteaux to Salon de Provence, the pack will cross 198 kilometers in all. Behind the Bold Mountain, they will face three second category climbs in the final part. The victory should go to Raider, one who has a car to play at the GC. Say to go ahead, live your life with no regard to what is said. Hey, to what is said.